Just in case you guys missed it, JoJo Siwa got exposed recently for fake taking shots on stage during her performances. I don't know. I guess she thought it was cool. I guess the team around her thought it was cool and thought it was a good idea to incorporate um, Jojo Siwa taking a shot before she starts doing that weird little freaking dance that she does. But I guess they thought that this was a good idea to add this to the beginning of her performances. Because, you know, she's trying to make a new name for herself. She's trying to ditch that old image. And she's trying to create a new one. A new one that looks just like the old one, except that she's talking about a lot of adult-like things now. Like, don't get me wrong. You're still going to see JoJo Siwa bedazzled in fake diamonds. And she's going to have rainbow colors and teddy bears and stuff bursting out everywhere, but now she's talking about having sex and doing weird, creepy things. And she's putting a lot of weird, creepy messaging in her music and in her music videos, including what some are calling the Chomo Bear. Um, but that's a story for another day. But anyways, Jojo Siwa got outed and exposed for fake drinking liquor before every show, Right when she's about to begin, right before she starts going into her cringy little dance move, she takes a swig and then she reacts to it like it's the strongest, craziest sip of liquor you've ever seen. I mean, you would think that this is a four-year-old accidentally taking a shot of whiskey or something, but no, it's a 21-year-old Jojo Siwa taking a shot of Fireball and she just acts like, oh my God, right? Well, as I said already like five times, she got exposed for faking it. So not only is her, not only is she failing at trying to be edgy, she's pretending to be edgy, which makes it so much worse because even if she was really taking these shots, it's like, hey, we get it. You're 21, you're older now. This doesn't make you look cool. This doesn't look badass or edgy. This looks ridiculous. But now we know that she's even faking it. She's trying so hard to be edgy, but she can't. She can't even handle one shot of liquor. So she fakes taking shots of liquor. And I have a problem with this because I feel like she's promoting something to her fan base that she herself doesn't partake in. If you're older, you're 21 now, and you're a drinker, and you want to drink on stage, cool. But don't fake drinking on stage to look cool in front of your fan base that's made up of a bunch of 12-year-olds. You know, 21-year-olds, when they go to a concert and they see a singer taking a shot, you don't think anything of it. There's nothing cool, edgy about a 21-year-old drinking liquor. It's like perfectly normal. It's something that 21-year-olds do. You know, but Jojo Siwa is not your average 21-year-old. Jojo Siwa is a 21-year-old star with a fan base of 9-year-olds. So she knows that when she takes these fake shots of liquor, it makes her look cool and edgy in front of her actual fan base, which is not a fan base of people her age, it's a fan base of people much younger. So when you look at her behavior and her actions and you see how cringy it is, understand that she's doing this to appeal to a very young crowd. She's not doing this to look edgy for people who are her age. She's trying to look edgy for 15 year olds, for 13 year olds, for 10 year olds, for nine year olds, you name it. I don't even think she has 15 year old fans. I think most of them are younger. But she did a recent podcast where she talks about drinking the, or, or taking these shots. And the way she brags about it is as if she did something major. And watching her talk about this, it really gives me the feeling that she still has the mentality of a very young kid. She still has the mentality of that same little girl Jojo Siwa that is printed on the backpacks and the coloring books at Walmart. Yes, she may be 21 years old now, but mentally she's been stunted. 
You know, maybe it's because she had to pretend to be a little kid doing those performances for her little kid fans. I don't know, but the way she's talking, it's almost as if, yeah, man, it's Tito's. It, it, just watch the clip for yourself, and then I'll be right back with more thoughts. It's my favorite part, and it is when I drink the alcohol on stage. The crowd goes absolutely ballistic. They brought out a jug of Tito's, and people were like, whoa, what are you doing? Is it real? Is it fake? And I was like, bitch, it is what it is. It's a bottle of Tito's. What do you think it is? My adrenaline is going so hard. I mean, I slid on stage in shorts the other day at LA Pride. I have a big rash on my knee right now from Chicago Pride from when I did my jump split, or maybe it was from when I did grinding on Monday. I don't know. One point when I was on the floor, but I don't feel it when it's happening. And that same thing happens with the shot of alcohol. Like I still taste it, I guess, but it's like, it's not as if I was like sitting at a bar taking a shot like that. Oh, fuck me. I decided to wear my old Dream the Tour shirt. This is from the very first leg of Dream the Tour. It's got all the you know run dates on it. It's my heart so happy. Do you guys get what I'm saying here? Like the way she's talking about it is as if she did something really, really hardcore. When in reality she belongs at Weenie Hut Jr. If any of you all have seen Spongebob, <laughs> Jojo Siwa is someone that can't get into the real bar. She has to go to Weenie Hut Jr. Yeah, it's Tito's. It is what it is. And then she goes on to talk about effing the ground. Why? Why is it necessary for you to hump the ground to have sex with the ground? Isn't that kind of weird? You know what I mean? But this is where we're at with JoJo Siwa. And I guess, I don't know, she has some type of blinders on. Maybe she's in denial. But she doesn't seem to fully understand why people are having such a problem with what she's doing right now. And like she's going out of her way trying to be controversial but she's creating controversy for different reasons. You know, most people are looking at her like, yeah, this is controversial because you're so completely annoying. You know what I mean? It's like, we're not really trying to cancel you for all of the weird sexual stuff you're doing. We're trying to cancel you because you're annoying and you're a try hard. And it's obvious that you don't really belong here. You kind of outstage your welcome in the public eye. You should probably fade into the background. Go drive your car around with pictures of your face plastered all over it. Maybe launch, you know, your own clothing line for six-year-olds because you still dress like a six-year-old on Halloween. You know, maybe she should launch her own line of clothing and our hair bows and hair berets and I'm sure she already has that stuff. She should make money that way and leave us all the hell alone because we're not feeling the music. We're not feeling the dance routines. Every time you take the stage, new memes are created and we're just going to continue making fun of you until you act like a normal person. But I don't know if she's capable of acting like a normal person because she has never lived a normal life. And right now, she's so desperate to be viewed in a different light that she'll go as far as she can with the cringe because that's like the only way she's getting recognition right now. We're not really recognizing JoJo Siwa for the fact that she's getting older or making new music. We're recognizing how cringy and how annoying she is. And only once we realized, only once it was brought to our attention, how cringy and embarrassing her behavior is, only then did we realize, oh, wait, you're doing a lot of this overly sexual stuff and your fan base hasn't really changed. We know that JoJo Siwa desperately wants to wake up tomorrow and have millions of fans that are all in their 20s, but that's not the reality. JoJo Siwa wakes up every day and her only fans are nine-year-olds. And she needs to come to that realization because whatever she's trying right now, it's not working. But she's doubling down, tripling down, quadrupling down. So it is what it is. We'll continue to point and laugh. 
whenever she says something stupid. But for now, let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all soon in the next one.